model matrix. It's in the translation or the rotation. Oh, why is the rotation by height over two? That doesn't make much sense. Shouldn't these rotations be like I over two? Okay, well, I'm going to have to go back to the place where I originally used this. It's like, comment this. Go back here. Projection visualization. Open that one. And now, I want to change this so that it, that it makes some sense. So let me just replace that with Pyro 2. Let's see if it still works. Oh, not that one. Okay, and everything still works. Um, and probably all of these are going to be Pi over 2, but I, um, I'm going to go one at a time. And just to make sure that I'm updating this code, let me put something that's not right here. I'm going to put like a Pi over 2 plus 0.2. I want to see this not do the right thing. Yeah, and it doesn't, so I am updating this code correctly. Oh, and it's just pi over 2. Yeah, this works. So this, that should be a pi over 2. Great. Great, so now I'm rotating all of these by pi over 2, and now I think I can remove this. I was trying to figure out why I had to translate anything. And maybe this was why. Now it still actually looks like I need to translate things. Dang. Oh wait, I'm doing it here too. Perfect. So what that means is everyone who was watching me when I coded this incorrectly, you guys should have told me. So it's your fault. Just kidding. Okay. So that works now. Let me go back to the view visualization. Oh, was, were you guys watching? No, that's fine. Okay, so now I'm going to add this. And go to the view matrix. Okay, so now this is the box. Now let me... I'm going to try to make this proportional to Manam's actual coordinate space. No, that's fine. Just listening. Yeah, that's okay. Mm. Tutorial utils here. Okay, so width, height, depth, then the material and radius. So here, frame width. Frame height. We don't have a frame depth yet. But I think that's going to be 20. Okay, so let me do this. And that is way too big. But this is... This should be the proportional... Well, not proportional, because the camera was divided by this.
So it's this, or like one over this. Okay, the scale factor should be one over this. So it's this, or like one over this. Okay, the scale factor should be one over this. Then I multiplied, it's 11 times the scale factor. Great. Then I'm going to multiply all of these. Okay, so this is proportionally where the camera, what the camera does. And mana, when you use a 3D scene. Except that the camera, the top of the camera, I don't know how to describe this. The lens is like going into that box and it shouldn't be like that. So let me make this Z times 11. I think the camera by default should be shifted back by the height of the cone. I think that makes more sense. So let me, I'll say camera equals this. And I'll shift this back. Um, in the positive Z direction by the lens height. Then I'll return that. Great, we set that. And I ran the wrong one. And that didn't work. What I did. Get camera, get this, multiplied by, edit the Z translation. Hmm, I'm not sure why that would happen. Let me try adding more to this. Get this, run it again. Yes, okay, so that definitely does something. Oh. The directions aren't the same as... The axes and actual manum aren't aligned with the axes here, I think. Oh wait, no. I think this just actually won't work. I think I have to do it manually. Because the coordinate system it uses will depend on how it's transformed by the user. So when the function automatically transforms it along the z-axis, that may not be the z-axis when the user um, renders the camera. Okay, so this has to be 11 plus the default camera height which is this. I think that worked. Hmm. 
It says the height is 0 0.6. It does look like this is a little off. Maybe it's because of the scale factor? I don't know. I'm just going to make this a bigger number. That seems to do it. Okay, so now that I've done that, I want to scale all of this down some more. That seems to do it. Okay, so now that I've done that, I want to scale all of this down some more. Okay, I think that's maybe too much. That's a little bit better. This, I think, is good. I can add, so it shouldn't just be boxes, like camera projection space or something like that. And I'm going to add both of those. To its own coordinate space. Great, so here we have the camera. Now what I'm going to want to do is first add some objects here and then second translate the camera somewhere. So let me um I'm going to take this. Dot um translation matrix. Let's do x equals two, y equals two, something like this. Well, broke something. Oh, I didn't add it. Nope, broke something. Um, why would that be a problem? Oh, that model matrix. Nope, still. Oh, here too. Cool. So we got the camera translated. And I won't deal with rotating it right now. I'm just going to do the translation right now. So we move the camera like so. And then the thing to visualize will be translating it, translating the camera back to the origin and following that, I'm going to translate this space back to the origin with the projection matrix. So first let me try to do this. Um, I think move to target should work with meshes. I don't know if it works with object 3Ds. So I can say, have the projection space copied. It was this dot copy. Well, that didn't break anything. I'm going to translate this back. Actually, negative 2, negative 2 won't be enough. So 
Something like this. Now I can do... Um, I can play move to target. And, uh, hope this doesn't run into bugs. Oh, I didn't even set it as the target. Great, that worked. So I'm gonna place the camera prior to doing this. Great, that worked. So I'm gonna place the camera prior to doing this. I can just place the camera. I guess here is a fine place to do it. I need to just transform the camera to the origin. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not negative two, negative two. It's negative two, negative two, and then like plus whatever this translation is. So I guess scale factor times this. Great. So this will translate it back to the origin. And following this, the projection matrix will have to translate this box into a one by one by one or two by two by two. Two by two by two cube. And, um, that might be a little difficult. Maybe not. I still have the projection matrix from here. So it should be something like this. Man of space width. So... All of these width height. I have to have the, have the projection space. Width height depth. Eight. Uh oh, it broke something. I guess something was still using Manum Space when I saved. Okay, it's working again. But it didn't interactive embed. Oh. Whoops. Comment that out. Oh, I didn't mean. Well, gotta love filing window systems. There we go. Okay, so this is width and height. Now I can do the depth, which is just 20. Oh, 
like so. That's perfect. With this, I can tailor this projection matrix. Here and here and here, and maybe this will sort of what I, sort of do what I want. Let me think about this. Yeah, I'll just I'll just transform the camera too. So I'll do this and that. Wait. Can I with those projections based on model? Yeah, let me do that. Okay. That's great. Projections based on model. Yeah, let me do that. Okay. That's great. Yeah, I like that. So what I'll do now, I think I'll increase this radius. Then I have to make this an animation. So I'll copy this. So this will be the copy projection space. So there and there, set it to the target. And play this again. Okay. Perfect. Then the last thing to do is I need to shift this by whatever the offset is of the camera. Which I think was this. I think. It's going to have to be scaled down. Okay, let me see what that does. And that's in the wrong direction. And that's too far, but let's see. Okay, yes, yeah, so this needs to be scaled down. Um... Is it 2 divided by this? I don't think it's 2 divided by that. Yeah, that's way too far. I think it's 2 divided by this. And then multiplied... Wait, let me see. 2 divided by the scale factor, then multiplied by... This just... Oh, so that is what I do. Darn. That's not the scale factor. This should be the depth. Projection space depth. Okay, so then it's that. Then this, I think, needs to be multiplied by the scale factor. And my camera did something weird. There we go. Something with animations in my camera doesn't mix. Oh, it's when I move it during an animation. That's weird. Anyway. That's perfect. So that, that shows what the model matrix, what the view matrix, and then the projection matrix does. So the next thing to do is to add some objects. So it's a camera. I have camera with projection space, which is just the camera and then that box. Let me add some other things. Um, maybe I'll just take the mesh one. Mesh two and mesh three from 
here. Yeah. So I add these, okay. Get a box geometry, sphere geometry, and this geometry. 3D seems to do most of the 3D ideas I had. Um, okay. I mean, it does... Dealing with things in terms of, like, OpenGL's language is... It makes a lot more sense when you're doing 3D. So, um... Yeah, it, it might be obsolete. Possibly. Okay, let me translate those. Possibly. Okay, let me translate those. I just do this. Okay, I think that's good. What I'm going to do is just add these to, not the camera with projection space. Maybe I should make another one. No, I'll just add this to the camera with projection space. There was a point where I was sort of wondering how much of 3JS to try to integrate with Manum. That was perfect. It translated the objects back to the origin. Or it translated the camera back to the origin. And then the projection matrix brought them into the one by to the two by two by two cube. However, these animations are messing up my camera controls. Don't know why that's happening. I have to look into that some more, probably. It'd be sort of nice if you could do the translation first and like pause and then see the shrinking but I don't think that's really necessary right now I think for now this is a pretty good visualization of that maybe there should be a weight between these great and then to get out the projection visualization we should makes sense together. Cool, so I have the projection matrix that brings things into, things into the 2 by 2 by 2 cube. The view matrix, which brings the camera back to the origin. And the model matrix for transforming individual objects. That is not where the camera should be. But okay. Um, that was actually pretty good progress. So we went through all of those. So maybe I should get into rendering geometries. Um, this will probably be a more hands-on thing. I'll probably go through an example of like putting together a house or something like that. 
Oh, and the lighting. Speaking of lighting, you might not have been updating the normal matrices of some of these meshes, but I'll deal with that later. Maybe I'll just list a few of the materials, geometries and materials there are. Right now, I want to try to just, just like put together a scene with a house or something like that. So I'm going to quit this. Please. Okay, so there's nothing here. I set up the background. 